Any advice on singers on how to get higher retention rate on videos? Uh, wow, that's a really cool question. I seriously have no idea. I'm giving it straight to you. Uh, I suck when it comes to content. The only thing I can tell you when it comes to creating content uh, is figure out who you're doing it for because if you're doing it for you, um, that's a very different conversation um, because when you're making content, you either are going to make content to try and be famous or you're going to make content to try and give value to people. Um, and then when you're really, really good at it, like you've, you've really nailed it and you've got a great team or you build the skill set up that um, can do it, you can deliver value while becoming famous. And the example of that would be like Mr. Beast, right? You know, he just, the value of what he delivers is so good. Um, and then uh, obviously he's famous. Or like, say if we take a musical example, any piece of content that Ed Sheeran po posts is usually high value content. And it's also very good. Now remember, if you're a musician on the platform, uh, on any platform, uh, your competition is Ed Sheeran, is Taylor Swift, is all of these amazing artists that are on there. Because when viewers go to look for music, um, very rarely are they gonna be like, I mean, it's a certain kind of person who's like, oh, I wanna see like how this person does the cover of it. Like this, there's people who love that, but you also gotta remember that you're competing for the attention of people who are consuming really, really top notch music content, um, performance content, entertainment level, like funny stuff, all that stuff. So if your attention is not good, that's because typically you're not good. So, <laughs> so you hear a lot about retention and stuff. Um, the way I see it is like, if my videos are not landing, that just means I suck. And that is some, that's a, that's a really, really not fun way to look at it, but also a really freeing way. Cause then you're like, okay, well the only thing is just get good, right? Just practice, just keep posting the content. And every time you post content, you wanna post content and just look at like the numbers. Cause you'll, you'll look at the numbers and you'll be like, oh, um, I got like 300 views on this video. And, or like for instance, for my YouTube, right? When I was, I was posting heaps of videos on YouTube and I did like over, a, we did nearly a hundred live streams on, and, and then I finally got some people looking at my YouTube. Well, like a, a decent amount, you know, and we grew really well. Um, and I'm still at the beginning, right? Of this whole journey. But just look at like, when you see one like or one comment or 10 views, that's like 10 people going in looking at your content. And it's like, when you look at a show, like I'm, I'm used to playing, I, when I started playing gigs, you know, there'd be like zero people watching me or I will like bust, like try so hard and no one cared. Like, and the fact that you can get like online and post a piece of content and one person looks at it and is like, I like this. And you get that person, that's who you're fighting for. If you look at our stream, that is exactly how I approach our stream. Uh, we have our crew that jump in and they've been in here like since I started doing some streaming in like May was when we started doing the TikTok stuff. And like, it's about the one-on-ones. It's not about the 10,000. It's not about the 100,000. Like that's just too much, too much noise. And it's about getting the one-on-ones, connecting that. But if you want to be famous, that's a different story. I can't help you with the famous stuff. The famous stuff is, is like study viral techniques, study all those kinds of things that create like, you know, keep people's brains just like blown up. Me, I'm like, yo, I just want to vibe. I want to play nice music and uh, I want to keep getting better and deliver value in the, in the form of entertainment and education. So yeah, hopefully that helps you, um, Danae. Um, definitely join our online music school because I will do a, a content creator course. Ooh, ain't no sunshine. Yeah, but just get out there and play. And and retention, like in content creation, I listen to a lot of, like I this is all I do. Like, so when I'm driving in from work, it's a 30 minute drive for me to get here um, to the studio. So like every day for at least like an hour and a half to two hours, I consume content on how to do content creation. And I've been doing that for like a year now. And then also there was all the years before that I like followed my friends that became great content creators. And 
like there is so much stuff out there that's gonna like make you think you need to be a certain way but really the thing that changes completely is you posting just post every day like just get out there and post and post and post and post and post and post until you post a thousand videos post 1000 videos then come back and be like how do i do retention just every day post a video and try and make it a little bit better try and make the first three seconds a bit better try to make the, this little thing but never let the metrics the output stuff determine whether or not you're going to do the input stuff because that's what happens you look at the output and you're like oh, well i don't want to do the input now because my output is making my my life hard and that's a really hard thing to measure because i don't even know i do not know why why one video of me playing neon did well and then another video of me playing neon doesn't do well i just i can't figure it out for y'all i don't know the algorithm gods were like here you go bang and then everyone was like well this is sick and i was like man i've just literally been i've literally been doing the same song for like a year exactly the same way on stream and no one like aside from our amazing community cared but outside of that no one else cared so like you just gotta you got it's, it's the at bats just keep throwing it just keep throwing it keep trying keep trying and then what you'll find is if you just focus on the input metrics of like did i post today did i post three times today did i get better today that's the only thing that matters because eventually if you only think that way you will just get so good and then you will be good enough to be someone who has 5,000 really great followers. And then you're good enough to be someone who has 10,000 great followers. Then 100,000. And it just like, it compounds. But if you ever take a step away from that process of like, how can I deliver good value all the time? As soon as you step away from that, you're, I just personally think you're screwed. Every time I have fucked up in my process of learning and getting better and delivering better value, it has always happened when I stepped away and I was like, oh, this is not performing as well as I want. Like I did a video and it was way better here. And I'm like, what's going wrong here? And I was like, shut up, Luan, just post another video. Just keep posting videos. Did you get better at your music today? Did you have a great time with all your followers today? Did you have a fun stream? Did you get, like, then it comes back, did you get better? Did you get better? Like, and that's it. As long as that is the metric that you, pe you push for, oh man, it's, the world is your oyster. But, um, too many people are stuck in like analysis paralysis. Don't be that person. Um, it, it hooked me, it, uh, it held me back so much. Like so much. Like the amount of knowledge I had to, to execute on, like, ugh. it's just so sad that, that your brain can actually hold you back from delivering on, on like unlocking a brand new, you know, path for your whole life. Anyway. End of my rant. Just thank you for following. Sparks by Coldplay? I don't know that one, Nicholas. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Not one when she is a play. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Yeah, she's always gone too long. Anytime that she goes away. I wonder this time where she's gone. I wonder if she's gonna stay Cause ain't no sunshine when she's gone And this house just ain't no home yeah, Anytime that she goes away Miss Mary Cat, you subscribed? What? Yeah! 